We smoked the uh, cow's feet and the stomach for about an hour and this will allow you to kind of get some of the uh, kind of the order of these parts. The traditional way that you can do this also is to use uh, kind of vinegar and uh, lime to kind of wash it in the sink with some hot water before you start cooking. But I find that using smoke works just as well. It will remove any of the uh, odors that may be unpleasant when you're cooking some of the parts. The, uh, this is the honeycomb tripe. And uh, what we're gonna do is we're gonna take it off now. It's had a little bit of smoke now. So it's nice and uh, tender. And uh, the smoke has taken away some of the uh, kind of like the special odor that comes from cooking menudo. I have the honeycomb tripe, there's two kinds here. And uh, it's gonna be a three-stage cook with these parts here. We want to render the collagen from the feet. And uh, this will create a very flavorful and thick soup menudo stock. And then we're gonna add the honeycomb tripe together with the tripe. And these have different cooking times. So we're gonna kind of stage the cook. We're gonna do a three-stage cook. We're gonna create some collagen stock with the feet. Then we're gonna cook the tripe that's a little bit tougher. And then after we're gonna cook the honeycomb tripe at the end for the three-stage menudo cook. We're gonna add some hominy, some chili, and some spices and onion and garlic and bay leaf, and a whole bunch of other seasonings to make this a fabulous menudo dish. a cooking hack to do my menudo by using an instapot because it really allows you to cook the soup and get flavor very very quickly i have about uh, two inches of water in my instapot i'm going to cook the uh, feet first because uh, the feet are the ones that will create the wonderful gelatinous soup with the collagen that's in the uh, bones so we're going to cook this first and we're going to flavor it very heavily. This will remove any residual odor from uh, the cow's feet to create a wonderful stock. I'm going to have a whole bunch of things that I'm going to be putting in here. I'm going to put in one onion, 12 cloves of garlic and some uh, Turkish bay leaves, two small pieces of cinnamon stick, two tablespoons of Mexican oregano, a small handful of cloves, about maybe half a dozen cloves. If you like small cloves, you can add cloves, but I think cloves are very strong. I just want to put a little bit. I'm going to put a little bit of a tomato bouillon. I have about a two tablespoons in here to flavor the stock. And now we're going to add the chili that we had made previously. Give it a stir and let it cook for about 50 minutes in the instant pot. So we're going to render all that wonderful goodness of gelatin in the cow's feet into the stock to make this a fantastic uh, tasting broth. All these spices will also go a long way to kind of diffusing some of the odor that is very classic menudo style. But we want it complex, we want it muted, but we don't want it in your face. Let's cook it in the instant pot. Uh, you want to make sure that when you put the instant pot on that you know how to set the valve here. So put the lid back on, make sure the valve is situated this way and uh, the, the dropper is in there. Turn it on, go to manual. We're gonna go to 50 minutes and let it cook. That's it, that's all you need to do. We want to cut our honeycomb into about uh, two inch squares, primarily because uh, once you cook it, it'll, it'll shrink, so don't cut it too small. This is about the right size, like that. The smoke flavor from the uh, smoke process will will neutralize some of the odor. When you make menudo, a lot of people who make menudo are disappointed with the end result because uh, they don't know what they're doing. And uh, if you don't kind of uh, have a antidote for some of the odors, uh, you're gonna, not gonna have the kind of menudo that is really gonna be absolutely tasty. Uh, you know, traditional way is uh, you can wash it in some lime juice and salt and uh, vinegar. Uh, but I find that the, you know, the smoke is a, is a better way. It also gives the, the flavor of smoke to your menudo, giving it a kind of a nice barbecue style flavor. So here's the other kind of tripe. This one is a little bit less tender than the honeycomb. So we cook this first until we get this to the right tenderness. And then we want to cook the honeycomb last. So three stage cook, right? We cook the uh, feet first to get the broth and render the collagen. Then we cook the uh, tripe followed by the honeycomb at the end. This one we're going to cut into pieces. And this one's a little bit tough, so we want to cook it a little bit longer. And uh, you can also make menudo with many other parts that you like. Uh, 
this is the more traditional uh, if you don't like menudo you can do the exact same thing with chicken or pork and uh, that's called pozole and I'm gonna make that in another episode but this one is gonna be hardcore for the menudo fans out there who are watching this episode phase one is complete we have the uh, feet here nicely rendered super soft we're gonna shred it and put it back in the soup I've taken out some of the uh, cinnamon stick and the bay leaf out we're gonna go ahead and cook the tripe now in phase two adding the tripe now and we'll cook it until it's tender and then we'll cook the honeycomb tripe after this after gently simmering the tripe for about 20 minutes we are ready now to add the third one which is the honeycomb tripe and I like to add it last because this one cooks faster Gently simmer the tripe and honeycomb tripe until it reaches the level of tenderness you want. Meanwhile, I've uh, removed all the bones away from the uh, feet and we're gonna add this back. All that wonderful collagen, we're gonna add it back and let the dish kind of sit and get all happy. We're ready to add some uh, white hominy. For those of you who may not be aware what hominy is, it's actually corn or maize that's been treated with an alkali to free the kernel and uh, for those of you who like shrimp and grits or grits uh, this is what uh, grits is made of you grind a white harmony into a coarse sand and that becomes grits if you grind it into a fine flour you actually make a uh, masa masa is spanish for dough and that's the masa that you use to make tamales but for the uh, menudo recipe i'm going to add the harmony which are just kernels of uh, nixtamalized corn. Nixtamalized means that it's been treated with the alkali. And this is one of the most ancient foods in the world, uh, extremely popular and has fed many, many cultures from the Mayan to the Spanish culture. Bring it back to the simmer and then turn the fire off. We're going to skim off some of the oil. What I like to do with my uh, menudo is uh, I like to eat it the next day, kind of like spaghetti sauce. It tastes best to let kind of the flavors melt. So what I like to do is put it in the refrigerator, kind of get all the oil to coagulate on top and then remove the oil so that I can enjoy the menudo without excess oil. Skimming off the oil as best as you can. Don't worry if you can't get all the oil out, you're going to leave it in the refrigerator and then that will allow all the oil to coagulate and you can just lift off the oil the next day. pretty good this is the final menudo with uh, the tripe as well as some of the honeycomb tripe together with the uh, feet uh, with all that collagen it's absolutely amazing stock I'm gonna try to squeeze some lime on it take a bite from it so I like my lemony with a little bit of uh, onion cilantro so let's give it a taste test here some of the tripe in there absolutely amazing if you never tried this before, it's going to be absolutely amazing. Absolutely delicious. That chili really hits you between the eyeballs. Draws a complex flavor. That kind of a silkiness comes from the gelatin and the collagen. And it's absolutely a fantastic bite. All that tripe is super tender. Not too tender. It still has a little texture to it. A little bit of a character. Absolutely, absolutely amazing menudo smoked in the pit you guys gotta try this at home you don't have to wait until you get a hangover you can just cook this for your family it makes a great meal for those who have never tried to have menudo before let mr beans try some i'm gonna see if i can avoid giving him any onions i know you guys don't like me to give him onions so i'm gonna give him some of the tripe as well as the pit, the cow's feet and a little bit of honeycomb tripe to try i have some of the honeycomb tripe the regular tripe the uh, collagen from the feet together with a few bits of harmony. Let's see if Mr. Beans wants to try some. No brisket today, but we got you some menudo. It's gobbling down the uh, beet first. Honeycomb tripe. Moving on to the regular tripe. Finishing with the harmony. So in that order here. I think he likes it. A little bit of menudo for Mr. Beans. He really likes it, making the plate completely clean. 
There you go, Beans. Good job, Beans. Thanks for stopping by and watching my smoke menudo video. I'm going to go off camera now and polish off the rest of this wonderful, wonderful menudo stew. Please like, subscribe and share. And I'd like to do a shout out for all my Patreons, helping me keep the lights on on my channel. Until the next video, we will see ya.